is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 4 of season 4 of Overlords. It's going to get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm still skeptical of that group right there, because come on now, yeah, mm-mm, something about them, because like, mm-mm, no. So basically, you just snuck in, sir. <laughs>
Oh. A magnifying glass? Just give it back. I swear to God, if he drops it. <laughs> hey, she's cute. I thought he would be, you know, a little more freaked out about it, but okay. Right? I mean, because, you know, <laughs> something about that, like, in my opinion, I wouldn't be telling someone, oh, hey, here's my biggest trump card and what the fuck I can do and what it does. Like, no.
Oh, I like her voice. even know what to say right now um okay him lose like oh Watch him kill him and like what? <laughs> <laughs> But so, of course, he's going to make it a fair fight, but he's still going to win. This is Ainz we're talking about.
Excuse me. Oh. So you might as well just admit to Vibe. Oh, damn. Oh. And he just about to stab him, and it ain't gonna do no. Oh God! Well, damn. And then watch day one, everyone's like, all right, it's time to move.
Is that such a good idea, though? Oh, I'm wondering what the fuck is vibrating. That's my damn watch. <laughs> I really think this isn't gonna end well for him in my opinion you know I, we all know I have the biggest crush on this guy but like <laughs> this is his state <laughs> I don't know. I just, I got a feeling he might die by the end of the season. Like, it, it wouldn't surprise me. That's why I felt like, okay, I feel like him and, and fucking Philip, who is over here, like, feeling some type of way about Abedo, like, I feel like he gonna die. Like, Philip, Philip just an ass. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't like him. And I feel like we're going to see him again next week. So, it probably, it feels like every single time I see him, it makes my skin crawl because he is such a weird ass character and such. But he is interesting. Um, Osk and, um, his, uh, bunny maid? I, I don't know. I still don't know what to say about that. I was not expecting that. One, the hands? What happened to the hands? That's all I have to say is, what the fuck? Was not expecting that. That in the deep voice. I mean, like, oh, that took me out for a loophole. What's I heard that? I was like, oh, I'm expecting, like, a cute girly voice. Not just this deep ass voice. But like, oh, oh, hello, how you doing? Um, but, I mean, the episode was interesting. I mean, it's still, like, I do like the fact that we got to see what Ainz was doing while Abeto was doing her ish. I do like that. That's the one big thing why I really enjoy this show a lot. Because when we get to see other characters do certain things and then someone else, going back to someone else and seeing what they're doing, and then it comes full circle, that is always, like, the best pivotal moments about this show. And it just hits real good for me, in my opinion. But, like, something, something coming. <laughs> But I do feel like everybody in this kingdom after this match, they're like, oh, okay. I ain't had something that could bring someone back from the dead. Shit. You know what? How kids? <laughs> it's time to move. It is time to move. We are leaving this kingdom. Fuck this kingdom. Let's go. I'm so bad. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh my god, but it's true. It's true. You know the parents. The parents went home. <laughs> the parents went home and like, kids, we back it up. We get the fuck up out of here. Oh my god, bruh. I need to see that. Even though, of course, because that's a scene that's not really important to show. The, the, I need to see that. The background would be so funny. But I, I'm like, mm. now, like I said, I still want to know, like, so because we're so focusing on, like, Ainz and Alberto, Demirge, everyone else, you know, we can't show Seltzer because she brainwashed, I get that. She's still, you know, in her ish, so, of course, we can't really show her. But something tells me what we might see her still, maybe, I'm not sure, so, like, possibly around, like, the second half of the show, I don't know, but hopefully... The rest of the characters make a freaking appearance? Yes. I mean, because it feels weird going in four episodes and we've only seen four of our, of our team. We won't, you can't, I'm not counting them in the opening because I don't count, in my opinion. 
it's the episode where we actually get to hear them voice ish. So technically, really no five because you have to count Mamaru's character. So yeah, so that's five. Um. So yeah, where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> Everybody else in our little tight knit group of family. <laughs> I just need to see them, please. So that's one hoping uh, for next week's episode. But yeah, it was good, very enjoyable, loved it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode four of season four of Overlord. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course. I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday for episode five. Bye, guys.